up you guys, me comics here Back at it again with another video What up, what up <laughs> Welcome back again to my channel guys It's been so long Wanna greet you guys, happy holidays and happy new year uh, yeah, just wanna start this year with a bang by making this video uh, and updating you guys on my personal journey as an artist. So, welcome. It's been a rough couple of months, guys. I've been really grinding on my thesis. Me and my partner Herbs were really, you know, doing our thesis. And yeah, the, our thesis is the Bolisan Project, and it's about you know understanding the rise of the Batangas hip hop scene. And for now, it's composed with a website, an infographic, and a music video that we recently released. If you want to watch it, I'm going to link it down below. It's on our FB page, so go watch it, guys. So we feature different hip-hop artists like um, rappers, DJs, um, breakdancers, and graffiti artists. So, you know, uh, we're really trying to um, get the scene to the spotlight because you know, um, even myself, man, I didn't even know that we have a scene like this. I just experienced it in 2017, but apparently it's been going on since, what, 2003? It's hardly been known, man, so... I think it's super cool that we get to bring these artists to the spotlight because for people to know about them, and there may be sponsors, and plus there may be opportunities lying out there you know you, you never know but that's our thesis it's a story for next time i'm gonna make a video or podcast about it for next time for now i'm gonna make a video about me spray painting you know i've been really itching to spray paint again um now that i got these one take spray cans i got um i got more i ordered more plus i ordered um what spray caps i got a neon fat cap and lego cap yeah man, I've been dying to you know try these out, but I didn't really have the time because I was um, really um, hunched over my desk, this desk. <laughs> but you know, um, we'll see. I hope it goes well, and hope you guys enjoy. All right, first up, let me get my supplies. So I'm gonna choose some of my colors here, and yeah, let me get my face mask. So here are the colors that I picked up and I brought my markers in case I need them and I also brought this little star shaped thingy as a stencil. I am also gonna use a bristol board as my canvas since I don't have any wall or I don't want to use my canvas just yet. This is actually my first actual detailed uh, practice as I did not do any practice beforehand in my previous artworks in regards to spray painting. <laughs> I just kinda winged it, you know. But yeah, today we're gonna do can control and I'm gonna explore on some of my caps that I bought. So yeah, first up is I'm gonna try the regular cap of One Take. This is the cap that comes in with the can when you buy it. <laughs> so let's try it. For these practices, I kinda want just horizontal lines. Um, I just want clean, even lines, maybe fat, maybe thin, you know. Next up is the New York fat cap. So really excited about this one as this one had so many good reviews. Damn, that is one wide spray. <laughs> it's kinda cool how this one can go from wide, then medium, and then super thin. But yeah man, again super hard to control as a newbie in you know spray painting. Okay, so for the last cap that I'm gonna try is this Lego cap. For this one, it's supposed to be thinner than the two other caps because this cap is usually made for outlines. For the next couple of shots, I was trying out my vertical lines. So first up is I tried uh, the Lego cap. Next up is the fat cap. Out of all the three caps, I think the most versatile and flexible cap is the New York fat cap because it can range up to like super wide and then super thin. I was trying out a line from super thick and then super small, but then <laughs> I scratch it with my finger. Yeah man, super hard to control. I think uh, it would really help me if I am doing this on a wall because it really covers a large area. I'm super not used to these types of lines because um, Mainly, I am a comic artist and I usually do it on an A4 and I usually work with thinner lines, significantly thinner than this. 
<laughs> so it's a real change for me. Since I'm out of space, I think I'm gonna just practice on this piece of cardboard. At this point, I'm just, you know, trying to practice out random stuff like straight lines, um, circles, dots, and even curved lines. I was just really practicing how to swing it. I even wrote my name just to, you know, make a form of structure. Man, people on YouTube really make it seem so easy. For this part, I am trying to outline my name just to see how, how much thin I could go. But it's not going so well. Okay, I guess let's move on. So I have this pre-sketch of a character that I made earlier so that I could practice on it. Hopefully I could produce a good outcome. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Nagmasid sa paligid na gabang Nang mga bara sinisig ng may laman Naglakbay sa tanawin para lang Matagpuan at tinatago na kinang Nagmasid sa paligid na gabang Nang mga bara sinisig ng may laman Naglakbay sa tanawin para lang Matagpuan at tinatago na kinang Ang kinang ng hip-hop ngayon ay tataas Nagmasid na sa paligid pero hindi lumampas Ang pagtingin kahit sa anong antas Gusto sa parami men Pas na kami sa pabawas Kalibla I got my heart though, watch my flow go with my dude yo Kalis on the mic, spitting bars bro Nilaro ko lang ang bawat salita Sa bawat pagtingin, may ngitin nagmamarka May matang na mamaga, luhang di na mapiga Problema lumalala, sorry na manipula Kasi ang gusto nga ay ong Magmasid sa paligid Hey, magmasid sa paligid Hey, magmasid sa paligid Hey, magmasid sa paligid Dahil ang mundo ay tila para bang wala ang pierno Tuloy sa pagdapi nawawala ng respeto Respeto sa hip-hop, respeto sa tao Lahat ng bagay sa mundo yung napakalabon At labis ang gismaya, dilubyo ang dala Boses ang naging sandata Hala, sige, halika na, sumama ka na magmasid Sa kung saan, hindi lang ang daan Ang nakita kong makita, bulag ang karamihan Sa pag-ibig man, no kapangyarihan Masyado nang mapanilang, wala namang katuturan Nabukaw na sa manhid na paligid Matuto pang magmasid at makinig Nabukaw na sa manhid na paligid Matuto pang magmasid at makinig Nagmasid sa paligid na gabang Nang mga barang sinisik ng may laman Naglakbay sa tanawin para lang Matagpuan ang tinatago na kinang Nagmasid sa paligid na gabang Nang mga barang sinisik ng may laman Naglakbay sa tanawin para lang Matagpuan ang tinatago na kinang Nagmasid, nagisip ng mga bara Hinasa ng aking mali, kaya ito nagkalasa Binalasa ang baraha, sinubukang maglaro Di na nagtago sa kahapon ko, layo kong magbiro Naglalakbay sa mundo kong pinapamulat Hinasa ng mali, kaya mas lalo pang nag-ingat Kumagat din ang ilan, nasubiklin sa kahulugan Nalagot ang pinagmuhulan, sino ba ang pinagmumulan? Marami daw ngayong mulat na sa realidad Pero bakit sino nga yung lamangan nagkakala tume edad Pero ang galaw ay paatras, kumakalas ang pyesa At kung tiyuntin nagagasgas Pagmamahal pero pait ang kapalit Sadyang ganyan ang puso pag medyo nasasabik Nagmamahal pero pagtawad ang balik Sadyang ganyan ang tao pag sa presyo babalik Tamang tingin, tamang taka, tamang tanong, anong iba? Pang naharapin, marami ang umaangking sa kung anong mali Pilitin man o kontrolin noo, may tama at mali Pero yung lagi ng mali Ang papaunlar nung hindi mo naintindihan para saan Ang mga matang ilan hanggang ngayon Ay patuloy kang nagubulag-bulangan Paano mo malalam na nung muram mo isipan? Nagmasid sa paligid na gabang Nang mga barang sinisik ng may laman May laman Naglakbay sa tanawin para lang Matagpuan ang tinatago na kinang Nagmasid sa paligid na gabang Nang mga barang sinisik ng may laman Naglakbay sa tanawin para lang Matagpuan ang tinatago na kinang Jesus man, what the hell? What is this man? Since this is kinda shitty And my outlines are What, super thick? Um, everything is uncontrollable, it's chaotic, it's messy. I mean, my artworks uh, do have that kind of aesthetic, but um, for this one, I'm not so sure. <laughs> but yeah, I'll, I'll just use my markers instead. Maybe I can still save it. Pag nakita nyo, pakikupwede bang pakisauling Gamitin ko sa'yo kung sakali Pag feeling mo, wala 
Simplihan lang ang galaw Simplihan lang ang bitaw Simplihan lang ang galaw Simplihan lang ang bitaw Gusto niya bang malaman kung ano ang pinatago ng isang katulad ko pag nawalan na ng iya Simpli lang magbibitaw ako ng mga linya Pakinggan nyo na maigi at ako na mata Tukalan tong basura pero may lilalaman Lahat nga ay may halaga Depende nga sa iyong mata Di ba nga tol? Pulat ka na pa no mo nga nasabi Kung dahil lang yan sa uso Hay, nako pwede Stay ka pa bala sa pampatanggal ng naumay Masyado na ang malas Sa laro ng buhay Pero ito pa rin ako Sumasabay at lumalaban Nagsusulat pa nga kahit ilan lang umahanga Kesa tumo nga nga sarili ko There you have it, my first artwork in 2021. So, yeah, I think it looks um, pretty good. Uh, it turned out well compared to um, this. I'm I'm glad that I used my markers to say this artwork because you know it, it looks pretty cool. It doesn't look like my initial sketch, but you know whatever. It still looks awesome. One problem that I faced was. Like how the spray would um, drip into places that I didn't want them to drip. I can't really control them on where I want them to go. And also, it took me a while to get this um, kind of um, fur going on with this um, rabbit deer thing. As you can see, it got these like, like smudges and um, overflowed uh, paint. I'm not sure if spray painting is um, usually like this in walls, but maybe the paper was a factor. Like um, the paper couldn't hold the paint that much, so that's why it dripped. Maybe that's um, maybe that's that. I couldn't really do smooth lines with the spray because, as you can see, like there are a lot of um, stray paints everywhere, like dots. I mean, I, I guess that's. Um, that's normal for spray painting, but I'm not sure. I I couldn't really do a smooth like uh, smooth swing. That's fine. I kind of embraced the chaoticness. Like after I was done, I tried to splatter some white white paint on it. I mean, initially I didn't plan this, but I only discovered it like you know halfway through it. Man, I really wanted to you know spray paint on a wall because. The spray paints are done in large place or large canvas anyway because of its um, super bold and super wide strokes. I think it's not meant for, you know, um, what, what is this? Uh, maybe A3 sizes. So that's that. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed as much as I did uh, creating this. Um, <laughs> I think that's the point actually, like just letting loose, um, just having fun, blowing off some steam really just enjoying your art. I hope this year, as I did in the video, we all embrace our own chaos and, you know, potentially turning it into something cool. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you like. Um, check out my social media, uh, FB, Twitter, Instagram at HeyMeComics. And check out my website at MikoFernando.com. And yeah, looking forward to making more projects this year. Peace out.